Global Pulse is an innovation lab for the UN system, learning how to use all of the new real-time digital data, what people call big data, um, to support global development and humanitarian action. Global Pulse is uh, a project that originally came out of the global financial crisis. What we were seeing was essentially a development crisis moving almost to the speed of a natural disaster. In early 2010, as the project uh, got underway, we said we need to look at this new phenomenon of big data. There have been discussions about the need for a data revolution for sustainable development. Um, everyone has recognized that to achieve sustainable development, the opportunity here is to use this kind of information to both to measure sustainable development in ways that haven't been done before, but also to achieve it. For Global Pulse, the data revolution discussions have been incredibly timely. Um, our work for the last five years has been looking at how to harness this new data. So we divide big data for development into two broad categories, what people say and what they do. When we talk about what they say, we mean everything that is available online in digital form publicly. Uh, post to Facebook pages, Twitter messages, YouTube videos, this information uh, can be analyzed readily to understand what people think and what they feel and um, how that's changing over time. When we talk about what people do, we mean how they search on uh, engines like Google, for example, uh, how people transfer money through networks like M-Pesa or, or spend on credit cards. Uh, borrow money and repay or do not repay loans, how they communicate through mobile phone networks um, or purchase airtime credit. We've already seen that there are tremendous opportunities to gain new insights from big data. Um, how people spend money on mobile airtime credit predicts how much they are spending on food and predicts uh, their overall level of poverty. How people uh, move about a city that you can see through mobile phone networks predicts um, how they're being displaced uh, by a natural disaster. Um, how people tweet about the price of food predicts the actual food prices. In 2014 alone, there was more data produced than in all the rest of human history combined. Uh, the amount of information that's being produced is more than doubling every year. And that kind of information out there uh, is being used to commercial advantage by the companies that provide the services. So they can understand their customers, they can uh, identify new market trends, they can monitor their own operations in real time. They've got many reasons not to share it. So we've been engaging with private sector over the past three years around an idea called data philanthropy. Let's find a way for you to share your data safely and responsibly for sustainable development. What we found is that the United Nations is in a unique position to, to work with private sector to safely get access to this data, to bring together the UN system partners and academia and technology organizations to learn how to use it for sustainable development, and then through the UN system worldwide to scale these innovations rapidly for impact.